in the world that we live in, for me, that's human performance world, there are cycles, loops, if you will. And I call them performance loops. And one of the performance loops that happens is the you want to be able to see it before you do it so that it's easier when you do it. So let me say that again. You want to see it before you can do it so that it's easier to do it when you do it. And then there's another thing on the other side of that, and that is you want to recognize that you did it so that mentally and emotionally you make that connection and that's necessary for celebration and to actually feel like you've grown because that basic human need of growth is truly significant, which is another basic human need, and, and impactful as you contribute, another basic human need, to your future success, to realize and express yourself at the highest level. So the reason why I'm mentioning it right now is one of the things that people fail to do consistently is to write down their workout. Um, we have a bunch of different things on here like goals and notes. And the thing is, people have no problem celebrating wins when they happen in games, but they don't usually celebrate their wins and practices as well. They don't usually have uh, a matrix that they're looking at how they can sustainably progress every day. They don't have that um, program like UNC soccer does where they have the competitive cauldron where they're putting all those things in there and, and that brew, that concoction that they come up with ends up realizing success at the end of the year more often than not. And they're the easiest program to look at that did that. And so the reason why I'm mentioning that is one of the things that we have a hard time getting people convinced or buying into is that they need to write down what they're doing. They're like, oh, I don't wanna waste the time. How long do you think it takes to write this down, to write down your workout? No time at all. The thing is, writing it down helps you remember and kind of coaches yourself on what you did because now putting pen to paper has such an impactful, significant response to your human performance. I wouldn't, what would be the point of wasting your time? It makes no sense, right? I hate wasting my own time. I don't want to waste anybody else's time. But if you don't write down what you're doing, chances are you're losing more than is necessary. So if you went, let's say you had a $100,000 or a million dollar seminar that you got the opportunity to attend, but you had to pay for, and maybe if you didn't have all the money right now, they put you on a payment plan, right? You could pay, if it's a $20 million seminar, you can pay a million a year for 20 years or something. Like how much would you wanna focus on that? How important would that be? Would you think that you probably should get as much as you possibly can from that and take quality notes and then see how you can apply that to your life, how you can implement as fast as humanly possible in a successful and strategic way, that would make sense, right? But when you show up for your practices or for your training sessions or your recovery sessions, your development sessions, your film sessions, how do you take away more than like, you know, one to 5% with that? The better that you can learn from what you're doing, the more that you can apply that moving forward, the better you can implement that in your strategy and your game plan. And so the reason why I'm sharing this now, taking the time to do this and record it, is because there's far too few that are actually doing this. I can even say, hey, you should do this. And even some of our division one, some of our division two athletes, some of our division three athletes that are already in college, that have already progressed to that level, they still don't want to do it. And after I ask them, they'll say, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it when I get home. Doesn't usually happen at home. Why not do it where you're doing that? Why not record that and capture that in the place where it actually transpired? There's more power to that because then when you show up to that place, that information that you've recorded and retained will then be retrained. They'll be re-enlivened. It will actually have an attachment to the, the locale, to the space. So that, and this is the, the opposite thing of, of that happens. Well, it's actually the same thing, but it 
that happens in a negative way for you, like with this home learning. Well, now that you're doing e-learning, so to speak, you're doing uh, learning through Zooms and things like that. If you're doing it in a place that you're used to sleeping, you're probably not getting the greatest response because you're laying in bed and that's where you're used to sleeping. That's not where you're used to doing work. So it's gonna have a different emotional and mental memory that's attached to it and you're gonna go into that mode. But if you reprogram a space in the room that's more well lit, that you have a desk set up, that you can sit up, that's like your workstation, now you're gonna have memories of work there and you can project into the future knowing that that's what's gonna happen there. So when you record something where you're training, you're gonna get more out of it. It's just that simple. But still, even with that being said, it's very difficult to get people to write these gosh darn things down. Like, I don't know, it's beyond me. It, it, the new people, people we've had for a while, people we've had for a long time that I still have a hard time getting to write it down. You would retain more, you wouldn't have to retrain more and you would get more progress. Like, doesn't that make sense? And also, after writing it down the first few times, you'll get through that resistance to change. That's the thing. The resistance to change is more difficult and stressful than the actual chain it, change itself. And that's what you really wanna know. When you get better at aggressively embracing change, especially if something that's gonna be on a habitual level, that's an incredibly empowering, impactful thing that you can do for yourself because that is gonna bring certainty to the future where there is variety. Now you've literally hit every single basic human needs that there is, except for love and connection. And the act of doing all these things is connecting you with your overarching mission. You with the why that you said that you had when you started this whole thing. But if all those other things don't connect back, then you have what we call disintegration. And eventually, when you get pressure from the top or pressure from the bottom, it's gonna combust and it's gonna just be dust. But if you're aligned, when you get pressure from the bottom or the top, boom, it only solidifies what you're working on, what you're working towards, and what you've already done. And that makes a huge difference. And it all starts from recording one workout. That's it. Just one. That's where we start, people.